County School Board deciding how to move forward with hiring a new superintendent following the controversial firing of Mary Ellen Elia. ABC Action News reporter Serena Fazan is at district headquarters right now monitoring the debate. Serena. And Jameson, here's the bottom line. This basically opens up a conversation and the public is invited. And right now, there is a packed room still discussing the issue. In the past couple of hours, we've heard from a handful of people with mixed reviews, some praising the decision over the firing, others outraged, especially over the money factor. The decision will cost taxpayers more than a million dollars. Now, here is what is expected to happen. The board could decide to launch a national search. And ironically, Elia would have to help the board figure out which firms would lead that effort to replace her. She is currently Florida's Superintendent of the Year and one of four finalists for the national award. Her firing has come with lots of controversy. Some members who voted four to three to oust Elia says she created an intimidating work environment. But today, a columnist in the Washington Post questioned if it was the blunder of the year. The article prompting the mayor to not only tweet out agreement, but also voice his disapproval over the decision with us. I think the fact that a nationally recognized journalist um, who covers school systems all over the country is saying what a colossal mistake that was and how petty it was and how juvenile it was speaks volumes to what occurred. And it was just very tough. The, the atmosphere, the, the, uh, the morale was extremely low amongst teachers and they're the ones that are directly affecting our children. Now, Elia leaves March the 5th, but her contract runs through June. Today, the board could also to decide to look for an interim. Once again, to emphasize, today, the board is discussing the next step on what to do if they will officially launch a national search. But they are still discussing it. We are monitoring the situation, and we still have not heard on what they do plan to do. But we'll be back here live at 6. Reporting from Tampa, I'm Serena Fazan, ABC Action News.